quiet. Solitude, sitting on a rock and watching for a whale. My roots go back in Battle Harbor five generations. I was christened in the church here. I used to find in the dark with the light shining and when it go round and round, you see a shadow and it was just like somebody was chasing you. I was only five year old when I went up there <laughs> and I still am not the bravest in the dark. My dad was the system, my dose keeper. If you grow up in rural Newfoundland, character was everything. Every story that ever got told is about the ordinary made extraordinary. We would borrow dories and flats and go rowing and trouting and diving and fishing. Sometimes you were fortunate enough to find an old derelict boat, but the boat was derelict because it was so leaky. I remember going up like with my sister, probably seven, eight year old. We used to have to go up and wind up the light to make sure it would stay going until the next morning, especially if it was foggy. Well, if you didn't keep it winding up after so long going around, the light would stop. We would probably make three or four trips a day. First thing in the morning and last thing in the night before it got dark. Growing up here meant a different lifestyle. Life is not about stuff. It's about feeling and feeling good about where you are and what you do. I come back for that connection. My family, 10 boys, came from struggle. And my father was a fisherman. So my mother encouraged all of us to get a good education and to look at life that was not on the sea. When I went fishing with my father, I realized boats offered a very creative way that worked in a functional way. Because I could build, I just knew that was an answer to make a living. This sort of life really appealed to me. It was actually from a childhood wish. This place brings you back. It brings you close to nature and where we came from. It makes you want to get up and walk. And pick berries and to see icebergs and whales. Look for the stars and stay up and see if you can see the northern lights. When it was really foggy, you couldn't see a thing around the lighthouse. When the foghorn blow, it would shiver the windows in our houses. It would blow that loud. I can never say I was lonely here. We berry pick and get the kill up from the beach. You would see lots of seabirds and ducks and stuff. Humpback whales passing back and forth through the streets. And just to go up and watch the different ships, especially on clear days, you would see all around was, was just beautiful. Spend hours and hours in the beach. That was our playtime. I do know from building boats and just the sort of nature of wooden boats that it's a slow evolution. Our punts are very, very old. The same boat that was created two or 300 years ago. Boats that evolved for our conditions. I have a part to play in passing on knowledge that I learned from my parents' generation and they had learned from their parents' generation. It's in us. It brings you close to everything that's important in life. This is what I came for. Wooden boats take us back to another time, but they also express who we are today. They're sort of our genesis of our connection to the old country. Our song lines, 